what's going on guys hyper here today i'm going to be doing a uh, obs recording and uh, vegas render settings release so basically i'm going to be releasing my obs and our settings and like how i record my videos and my uh vegas render settings so let me start with the obs settings so i use obs record obs studio 25.0.8 um, I'm going to show you my settings. I record at 240 FPS, so I'm going to show you my settings in detail. So, yeah, general, I just left this on default. Like, dark mode is the best, of course. So, yeah, I just use dark mode. And then, uh, streaming is not really important. I'm only going to show my, show my recording settings, not my streaming settings. So, yeah, we're not going to look at the streaming tab. Uh, in the output, you want to put this on uh, advanced, like output mode on advanced, and then you want to copy down these settings. So, basically, I use type standard, which is I think default, and then uh, recording format. You want to change this to MP4 since MP4 is compatible with all the, uh, with like with most of the um, editing softwares. And then my encoder is a NVIDIA NVENC H264. Um, yeah, I use this because like of my um, NVIDIA graphics card. I have a RTX 2070, so that's why I think it's a new one. It says new in the brackets. And then yeah, you don't want to put this on X264 because X264, um, it basically puts a lot of um, like it's uh, like your CPU, like you're recording with your CPU, and you want to record with your GPU since the GPU, um, like it's a lot of CPU usage usage then. And then you want to put your um, output on 1080p, which is default. And then this is really important. You want to put this on CBR. And you want to put this on uh, the bit rate you want to put it in 80,000 i think it's a bit too like it, it is a bit overkill but then um to get that really good crispy quality and sharpness um i put this on 80,000. you can also use cqp um cqp level 23 and all like that but i use cbr since it works better for me preset i put on quality i tried to put it on max quality but then my whole recording used to stutter and all like that so i put it on quality my profile is on may uh high and then, um, yeah, and then these are basically default GPU on zero, add my max B frames on two. So audio, I don't really, I don't really change that much. Just make sure your mic is connected or your headset. So yeah, these are my audio settings. I put on 44.1. And then uh, my video, this is also quite important. You wanna put this on 1080p, so 1920 by 1080 on both of them. And then your downscan fil filter should be on 16 samples uh, by cubic. You don't want to put this on 36 samples since it will make your recording like it's not good like for 240 you should use bicubic so yeah like if you want to get the 240 you want to put this on fractional fps value and then put numerator numerator uh 240 and denominator one so yeah like these are my 240 fps settings hot keys not really that interesting advanced i kept everything on like default except the color range i put it on full since I get like better colors with on Fortnite and other games uh, than partial, partial is the other option, which is default. So you want to change this to full to get better colors. And yeah, these are my OBS settings. Let, let's move on to the uh, Vegas settings. All right, so now I'm going to be showing you guys my Vegas settings. I use uh, Sony Vegas Pro 15.0 to uh, edit my videos. Um, there are also other softwares out there like Premiere Pro and all, which are much better than Vegas. But then you don't get like the motion blur, which I get in my videos. So yeah, like uh, I use Sony Vegas. And um, before we render our video, you want to basically go to video effects and then you want to add RSMB. Like RSMB is not like default there. You need to get it for like, there are many ways to get it for free. But I usually add this RSMB to my videos to like get that extra motion blur, but literally like doubles my motion blur. So yeah, I put RSMB into my clips. And then uh, sometimes I put some brightness and contrast to get some nice colors and uh, I just put the default one and then yeah so basically once you put uh, RSMB and brightness and contrast you want to go to project settings and then you want to copy all of these so frame rate should automatically be on 240 since you recorded at 240 uh, pixel format 8-bit like this is uh, default and then your rendering quality, sh uh, quality should be on best Motion blur type Gaussian, this is quite important, so make sure to have this on Gaussian. Um, this method thing on blend fields, and your resample mode on smart resample. Smart resample is really important if you want to get that motion blur, so without smart resample, you won't get any motion blur. So you want to put this on smart resample, and then the rest I think are default, so just copy down all of these. 
and then uh, once you did that you want to select your whole edited file and then uh, click on file render as and then this will open up you want to go to magic's magic's abc aac mp4 and then from there you want to go to uh, i think it was this one yeah uh, internet hd 1080p uh 59.94 I know like I render like my videos are in 4k I'll show you that later I basically like upscale my videos but I render them in 1080p you should always render your videos at the same like uh, like at the same uh, frame size as when you recorded them so I recorded at 1080p so I want to render it in 1080p so yeah we're gonna render it in 1080p so what you want to do is just click on this click on customize template and then um, just basically uh, copy down these settings so Basically, uh, this you want to keep on 1080p. Uh, profile, you want to change it to high. Frame rate on 60. Um, field order, I don't know, just default, default. And then uh, variable bit rate, 135 mil. I think it's a bit overkill, but then I just, it works out for me. And then um, I get that nice sharpness and all that and color into my videos. So you want to put this on 135 mil. You can also put it on 60 mil or so, but then 135 works out better, the best for me. Your encode mode should be on an uh, MV encoder. I think these are all default anyways, but also say it. NVENC pre-sell default, and then this on uh, uh, variable bitrate, so VBR. Um, and then you want to go to the audio tab. Just keep this on default, 48 and 192. And then this anyways, nothing to do. And then on project settings, you want to put this on video rendering coding uh, on project settings because our project settings are anyways best. So you can just keep these on project settings and then color space on default because look at these options bro i don't know anything about these so just keep it on default and then it works out the best too so, yeah once you got these render settings you just want to render your file and then i'll show you guys the upscaling part later all right so once you rendered your file you want to drag it to your desktop and then uh, i left uh two links in the description down below to d install ffmpeg and all of that to get this upscaling batch file and all so watch those two videos to get these uh you get this batch file and then uh, basically watch those two videos and then once you watch them and install FFmpeg um, you will have these uh, this folder with upscaling with this batch file and all you got to do is just uh, drag your Fortnite like your render clip from for, uh, Sony Vegas drag it into here click on rename and then uh, rename it to convert okay. uh, convert like that and then basically just click on the batch file and then this batch file will basically like open up a command prompt and then it will basically upscale your video to 4k you can also do it to 8k and all but then i think it's a bit too much and all 4k is like enough for fortnite gaming videos so yeah you want to um once you open this um i'm going to show you an example of how it looks with rsmb um and this 4k and all that i'm going to show you some fortnite clips of um the render file if you use my recording and render settings so hope you guys enjoy those clips um i'll see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>
nigga, you look dumb, but hey, yeah. I been in this bitch in my space. What he got that shit, he got his shit, be back in cross state. When I find a shot, she can't ever stay in my place. I can't ever fuck, cause I don't know it, I'm a lose. Yo, won't lose, tryna play the part, but I won't let you know. Not heroic, I can't say these hoes, but damn, she flexible. So I bend her like a pretzel, bend it over, touch your toes. Say my name real loud, so your neighbors know I'm home. Insane. Come around trying to pick my brain But I can't let her though She thinks she a clever hoe Now her boyfriend know She turned to a lonely hoe All her friends know Hit my line one next door Going back to my place We went in the driveway Pocket in the driveway You been like my chain Going to a high stage She gon' come to my place Do whatever I say hey. Got a little shoddy. Got a little shoddy. She off a mother